Now that you've purchased your 1301 series shotgun, we want to make sure that you will get years of fun and safe use by making sure that you follow a few basic cleaning and maintenance steps. These steps apply to the 1301 Tactical and the 1301 Competition shotguns. You will want to clean your shotgun every time you shoot it. Make sure you are familiar with these steps and have a few tools and a quality cleaning kit available. You can find the cleaning kit that's right for your needs and your budget in our e-store or at a Beretta retailer near you. This one happens to be a universal kit that you can use for shotguns, pistols, and rifles. The first step is to make sure that your firearm is safe and clear. In doing so, you'll want to make sure that the muzzle is pointed in a safe direction, locking the action open. From here, you can begin your disassembly after you've verified both visually and physically that the firearm is safe and clear. To start, you will unscrew your fore end cap counterclockwise, like so. And set it aside. You'll want to grasp the barrel and receiver and pull forward on the fore end, like so. Set it aside. From there, you'll want to remove the barrel to the front. It's going to be tight, so wiggling it's not an issue. Just make sure to go slow, like so. On the 1301 Tactical, you will notice that there is no choke. However, the 1301 Competition Series utilizes the Optima Bore HP type choke system, so you will want to also remove it at that time with the included choke wrench. On both the Tactical 1301 Tactical and the 1301 Competition, Inside the gas cylinder is a gas piston. This is much like the A400 series. To remove the gas piston from the gas cylinder, you'll look at the very rear of the gas cylinder. You'll see the piston is flush with the gas cylinder. You'll want to pinch it and remove it to the rear. Now be careful, there's a split ring, also known as an elastic seal, on the gas piston, much like the A400 series. When it's removed, you'll want to check orientation of the elastic seal. The rib should be towards the front. Make sure that the ring is not bent and that it spins freely on the piston. Go ahead and set that aside. And you can set your barrel aside now. Now you'll want to remove the bolt carrier assembly from the receiver. In doing so, you're going to want to grasp the charging handle while you press your bolt release and ride the bolt forward. If you allow the bolt to drop, with the barrel off, you run the risk of breaking your charging handle. With the bolt all the way forward, push back on the breech face a quarter of an inch in order to line up the keyhole so you can remove the charging handle. The charging handle removes straight out. This is your keyhole here. Okay, so with the charging handle removed, you're going to set that aside and remove the bolt to the front of the gun. Just pull forward on your piston stop. Like so. the receiver aside. You've got your bolt carrier assembly and the plastic piston stop. The recoil spring is contained within the piston stop. It does not need to be removed. Your bolt carrier assembly does not need to be disassembled for basic cleaning. You can set that aside. For the cl basic cleaning on the shotgun, you are not going to remove the fire control unit. You will clean from the front. We're going to start with cleaning the barrel. So we're going to set the other parts aside for now. Now the 1301 Tactical, unlike the 1301 Comp, has a fixed cylinder choke barrel. There is no choke to remove. On the 1301 Comp, you would at this time remove the choke from the barrel with your included barrel wrench and clean inside and on the threads of the choke. As this is a Tactical, we're not going to do that. To clean the barrels, you're going to want to get a quality cleaning kit. I have here a Beretta Universal Kit. Using your Beretta Universal Cleaning Kit, available on the e-store at BerettaUSA.com, you're going to go ahead and clean the barrel on the, by assembling the jag on your cleaning rod here. The kit includes many different sizes of jags and many different types of 
brushes, but for this one we're just going to use a basic sweep. Got a bottle of Breda oil here to use. Now, you, if you've been shooting a lot, you'll want to use a good solvent such as Hoppy's Number 9 or Sweet Spore solvent, but this is not required every time. CLP or good oil will suffice uh, in most cases. Start from the chamber end of the barrel and just push the sweep through. Like so. Now you should never pull it back through the barrel, so once the sweep is through, you're going to remove it from the a cleaning rod. And set it aside. And then pull your cleaning rod back through. And then you'll probably want to switch to a jag or a brush and patch it dry now that you've got oil on it. And again, as with the sweep, you'll want to remove the brush or jag prior to removing the cleaning rod. Again, inspect the barrel to ensure that it's acceptable. After that, you'll also want to clean out the gas system. On this gun, you've got a gas cylinder below the barrel. Same with the 1301 Competition. You do not put any oil or solvents inside of the gas cylinder unless it is absolutely caked with carbon. If it is, then you use a solvent such as Hoppies uh, and allow it to fully dry prior to reinstalling. Now the gas cylinder on the barrel does not need to be spotless, but it does need to be free of carbon deposits and clean to allow for the gas piston to move freely inside of the gas cylinder. At this point we're going to move to the bolt carrier assembly. Now on these guns the breech bolt does not need to be disassembled for a basic field strip. You can focus just on the contact points that are accessible from the outside and wiping down the carrier to remove any fouling. Wipe down the carrier and contact points. See the fouling? At this point you'll want to then get your oil and oil up the contact points. Just a few drops will suffice. and then manipulate the breech face in order to self-lubricate the bolt. Also the exterior. At this point you'll want to also wipe out the inside of the receiver. We recommend a patch with hoppies if it's really fouled. Uh, in most cases that is not needed and a patch with some CLP or good gun oil will suffice. So you will wipe it down with a patch, focus on the rails, they're accessible from the side, to remove all the fouling. This one is pretty clean. And then a couple drops of oil on the rails, you can access it from the top in order to ensure proper function. Also focus on your gas piston. All that really needs to be done is for the gas piston to be free of carbon fouling that will impede function. In most cases when it's really fouled you'll want to use a solvent like Hoppy's Number 9 or Sweet Spore solvent. But in this case the skin's not been fired much so it's not needed. Do not oil it. Ensure at this time also, as when you're disassembling it, that the gas cylinder elastic seal, that's that split ring on the gas cylinder here, is oriented properly and not bent. This appears correct to me. Now we're going to go ahead and reassemble. Okay, now with the gun reassembled, you'll want to then do a function check. So what you will do is drop the bolt by pressing the bolt stop, like so. Disengaging your safety, like so. Pulling the trigger, and then locking the bolt up. For more videos, tips, and content, make sure you visit us on Beretta.com. 
You can also connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.